Hello, would you like to say hi to everybody? Show everybody your... He's looking at... He's seeing his toy. Ooh. He's looking at his toy like... Fuck that thing. Yeah. The skin. Yeah. Like, what a beautiful crocodile. Howdy! We're still at Chandler's. Hey. Hey! Here you go. We're gonna go uh, check out the Crocs? Okay, let's go. Yeah, we got our Crocs safe sticks, shot. okay? From over there, over the We're gonna poles. keep you safe over there. We're gonna go check everything out. We're gonna go say hi to the Crocs and say hi to Kevin before we get out of here, okay, guys? So let's see how these guys are acting today. So we got Miss Toothy right here hanging out. She's looking good, and then we got Aries. They're full of food, just fed them a bunch of chickens. Like she ate like three, four chickens. He ate like six, he's bloated like a cow. He's a beast. I can't really get close to them right now because of how much toothy is. They are so <laughs> chunky, bro. Dude, it's the coolest shit ever. Crap. Every time I'm here, it's just like, wow. Look Monsters. At her, look at her teeth. Yeah. What's so up, big boy? No, he's like, I want a mask. He's so fat right now. Bro, oh, yeah, they're like, not even Look how big he is. He is huge, bro. I remember when he was like just six, seven foot at Native Village. He was in our gator wrestling pit. He was trying to have sex with the alligators in our gator wrestling pit. Weird. Yeah, yeah. dude. He was trying to make hybrids. Wouldn't that be crazy if you could actually make a, cry, uh, a hybrid? A crowligator? Yeah. You want this? <laughs> a crowligator? Woo! You want this? Oh, a little miss. They left a little chicken in there. Oh, oh, you don't want that? Dude, he doesn't even want that. He's like, no way, dude. Little Miss Toothy wants that. Oh. 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 No, really, dude. That oh. chicken smells. He is savage. Look how beautiful she is. Wow. Or he is. Uh, oh, there he is. The smell. Big boy. Oh. Yeah, that's some nasty chicken. Oh, that is gnarly. That's uh, half a chicken she didn't finish yesterday. Go girls. Man, that was cool. Yeah, she doesn't even care though. She's like, yo, I'll see you. She probably just wanted to go after me. She's like, here's an excuse. She's like, oh, that's that guy. So I go athletic. get another taste. And dude, I got a pure male Cuban crocodile now. So oh, you? Do? Yeah, I got a, I got a male Cuban crocodile oh, in the garage. Let's go check out the Yeah, new let's guy. go. Hopefully, I can get a younger female and then breed Cubans in a couple years. Hell yeah. Cuban croc, the most dangerous crocodile in the world. Probably, honestly, more dangerous than a saltwater crocodile. Because they'll just run you down. As yeah. you just saw them, they Mom run, crap. they leap, they're super aggro. Right under here. Where is he at? Is he like oh, a see? kind of grab nicely or is he a grab, grab uh, quick kind of guy? He's a little bit feisty. But, uh, oh, he's so tiny! There you go. Look, he's right here. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Hey buddy, don't bite me. Dude, so cool. Here you go. You wanna pull him out? Oh my goodness. Get him, get him, get him, quick! Oh. Oh. Hey. So I am super excited about this bro because I saw his willy. He's a confirmed male Cuban crocodile. And for those of you guys who don't know the whole crocodile story too much, crocodiles when it comes to Cubans, critically endangered and it is extremely hard to get male. So the fact that I got a male and a female now, that's it's a huge sick. step in the right direction for yeah. conservation of the species. Because Robbie's the only one breeding them down here, right? Yeah, yeah, Robbie Kesey is the one who I got this male off of. This is a three-year-old male, so. It's beautiful. He's three years old? Yeah, he's, he grows Holy them slower. Crap. He grows them slower. He feeds them like once a week. So basically, wow. in about six years, crocodiles usually hit sexual maturity. So my plan is to hopefully get like a five, six-year-old female because I know that it's easier to get females, and then in a couple years, he'll be big enough to be with her, and then I'll have a young pair of Cuban Crocs ready to breed, versus splitting up Miss Toothy from Aries. I don't really want to break up their love, because, you know, they right. love each other. Remember yeah. when we first moved them to the facility, they started cuddling right away. Uh -huh. So this young male is going to be a bachelor for the future nice. of the species. Okay. I mean, like, look at him, dude. He's a gem. So the speckling, cool. that pebble speckling all over so the skin. Clean. Like, what a beautiful crocodile. Yeah, super. Like, and I, it's, he's he's chill right now, but like when I picked him up, he was jumping like crazy, jumping at my face. He's awesome. I love him. What comment little comment below. What do you think I should name him? He's a oh, cute crocodile. No oh look, he's got a little wiener. Yeah, right right yeah. oh, a little a wiener, dude. Hey, don't put that thing away. You happy to see me? 
Shit. So comment below, good Cuban male names. I want to get the best so, male Cuban name for this guy. He's a beast. He's going to be is. running down prey items like nothing. He's going to be running me down probably in the next couple years. Very cool. Now he's just a wee little baby. He's awesome. So cool. So it's going good here. The croc facility is building up slowly but surely. And eventually, this place is going to be covered in crocs. I need my crocodile fix. I just come over here to Chandler's. Gators will be in my crib, crocs at Chandler's. I might breed some dwarf Congo crocs, you never know. I want to keep some of them. This is my nephew, Bogoy. He's a very handsome man. Hello, would you like to say hi to everybody? Show everybody your, he looks at, he's seeing his toy. Woo. He's looking at his toy like, fuck that thing Show up. Tyler your hoo. He's been hooing so much lately. Hoo, hoo. He hooed at me when I opened up the door. Hoo, hoo, Bogoy. He's like, dude, I don't care. Get what his head ain't what are you looking at? Probably like a hawk or something. What are you looking at, man? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you. Dude, he's so cute. Can't wait to get a bird. Dude, it's gonna be great. You're gonna have land, you're gonna be able to do so much with it. I was just talking to Lewis about a vulture. Bro, I was just talking about a vulture too. What kind of vulture are you gonna get? Um, I'm not totally sure, but there's a, there's a couple of really cool species that I want to do. I want like a like a black uh, South American one. Dude, or some of them are like 20 grand. Yeah, the griffin, the giant African griffin giant vultures. Cute. They're like 20 grand. That'd be so sick. Imagine that thing hopping around. Like, so they're like, what is that? And it's like, yeah. <laughs> vultures. Vultures Looking are some food? of my favorite birds. I got a, I got a vulture tattooed on my arm right here. Definitely, I've always wanted a vulture. Let me just real quick. Just gonna put on his little. He's a little leash on his jesses so we can fix him up and put him on his perch so he can get some good sunlight. We're building his big ass owl enclosure in the backyard right here pretty soon. Actually starting tomorrow. That's very cool. Got 25 big poles. You're gonna have your own room, bro. How cool is that? There you go. Just a little leash. Oh. Don't ski. Just like that. Nice. I'll put him on his perch. All right, we're gonna go play with Kevin, bro. Here you go. Up, up. Good boy. Such a sweetie. He's uh, such a good animal, dude. He wants a bath. You're okay. You're okay. Hey, don't keep fighting me. That's not very nice. God, he's the coolest, though. Of course, before we leave, Gotta say hi to Kevin. Half. So we're gonna go see how he's acting today. This new huge enclosure that Chandler just had built for him. Super, super sick. If you'd like to come by, sir, thank you. But you looking big. How you doing? <laughs> Woo! He's chilling. He's just wrapped around my neck right now, but it's good. He's just on the move. He's so freaking he looks super dark. He's gonna go he, through I shit. I was just gonna say that he's definitely dark looking today. Yeah. Definitely on the dark side today. Oh, okay. All right, well. So cool, man. Yeah, dude, this enclosure is awesome. You see this, guys? Look how big. Look how yeah. much room he has. In here. And I'm gonna get a bunch of live plants. Ooh, I'm gonna so get a bunch sick. of live plants for him. Make it look beautiful yeah, in there. Definitely got a deck good thing out for him. But obviously, it's a lot of money, so it fits by a bit. Ooh, he's getting so big with him. And hopefully, Shatig and him will get along. We can get some beautiful blonde king cobras. Yeah, you can't be trying to eat my girl, bro. Be doing none of that. Look at that. Look how big he is. Hey there, dude. Yeah, he's definitely way on the dark side today. Oh, yeah. He's going to pop out of that shed soon. And he's going to be ready for the other. Look how thick he is. So heavy. What's up, big boy? How do you do? What's up, big boy? It's okay. He's so cool, though. Obviously, don't do anything like this with a wild king cover. This guy knows us, and we know him pretty well. Yes. He is so rad, though. So cool. Still, I'm gonna be able to be here all the time, seeing everything. Oh yeah. Good boy. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, he just wants to chill. He's my big green bow. Dude, he's awesome. So rad. This is probably the first time you've been around a king this big, right, Nico? Yeah. Yeah. He's great. So oh, cool. Yeah. I gotta look at some right here. It looks like he's got a little, like, little bumps. A little bump. Just give him some dewormer. You think that's what that is? Worms? 
Yeah, probably like a little nematode or something. Just give him deworm and he'll be fine. Always check. Look how big those venom glands are, dude. Look at that. Uh, excuse me, sir. Dude, it's so cool. I can't wait to see what color Rusty's gonna be when he's this big. He's gonna be crazy looking, dude. He keeps getting lighter and lighter. Every time Rusty sheds, I feel like he just gets more orange. Super fiery looking. Even Shatid, bro, she's super, hey, have you seen her recently? Yeah, bro, yeah, I saw her, she looks so great. They look more cool. orange than Kevin does. Kevin's more of like a golden yellow and they're like fiery orange. Yeah, I'm wondering what kind of offspring Shatid's gonna put out just cause she's so orange, man. She, she looks great. Pretty, pretty babies. Good boy. Dude, he's so cool, bro. He's a monster. He deserves the best. That's why I got him this freaking ten thousand plus dollar room. Yeah, that's so sick. Yeah, definitely. When you can set up some, you think he'll climb if you set up some cool arboreal stuff. <laughs> freaking kids. Mm, I love you. Dude. Fucking awesome. Don't do that, kids. Such an awesome Read the animal, warning. Dude. I'm hey, a professional. Bro. Not you. Say it. Say it. You can't do this. Don't do it. It's no good. It's no good. You can't do this, haha. <laughs> <laughs> so cool, bro. Yeah, he's a beast. I got so much respect for him. As time goes on, he's going to be more and more chill. And honestly, he's just like, I got so much respect for him. I just want to enjoy his space, you know? Yeah. I'm glad I have a king cover that shows off and shows the hood. And then I got him I can just chill with. I mean, he's My still boy. Up right now. My boy. Look, he's looking at Nico. My like, boy. Oh, hey. He's impressive. As many times as you see him, he's still impressive. Yeah, everyone loves him. And I don't see how big he is until somebody else handles him. And then I get to see how big he is in their hands. Have you measured him recently? Um, yeah, no. Last time I measured him, he was like over 14. Yeah, over 14. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. Yeah. So freaking cool, dude. Yeah. When I moved to my new place, I was telling you guys, I'm actually talking to Mark about it at Vision Cage. Um, we're gonna be making pretty much like a window. It's like a PVC window frame that I'm gonna cut out sections of the six foot pe the six foot vision cages. I'm gonna cut out the sides of them so we can put two six foot vision cages together. So that way it'll be just like two twelve foot cages essentially. Hello, sir. These are like your two theatrical for your hands. Sorry, I'm moving my hands. Around. I talk with my hands. You know, I don't like that shit, man. Well. Very cool. Thanks for taking out, bro. No worries. Give him a little kiss before he goes home. <laughs> I love you. Bro, oh, bro, you have issues, bro. I ain't doing none of that, bro. If my mom sees me kissing cobras like that, Dude, my mom is already freaking out about everything. Okay? I, feel like your I get yelled at every single day still about my mom, okay? So if you guys think that you're gonna grow up and your mom's gonna just like leave you alone and you're not gonna have to deal with your parents ever, that's not the case. My mom you can't watch years, my videos. 34 years old, I still deal with my mom yelling at me on a daily basis about wh how I, what we do, okay? This is what we do for a living, okay? Imagine this is what you do for a living and your mom hates it and tells you to quit every day. Don't quit, guys. Follow your dreams, no matter how freaking dangerous it could be. Don't give up. Follow your dreams, work your ass off, and make things happen, all right? Let's go check out this game one time. Before we get out of here, let's just go see real quick. Like, look at this. Look at how sick this setup is. Look how little he looks inside this cage. It's crazy, right? Well, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed another sweet episode at my boy Chandler's house. Stay tuned for more. I still gotta move a bunch more snakes over here and do a lot of stuff. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave down here. You don't gotta come. I'm gonna go fly the book away and face off. All right, Chandler. Bye. Thanks for having us over. I'll come check on you in a few days. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Well, if Chattanooga boy had a dollar and a dime, hit it out for Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learn to ride and steam. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel.